sorry, as DJ. Hey. Ta-da! Hey guys, what's up, what's up? It's Wally Joyly here. Join me for our another great episode, okay? So guys, what do you mean by art, okay? So now we will apply art as a medium of communication. So art is expressing the author's uh, imaginative mind, okay? So the product of an art is called, uh, actually we call it a uh, work of arts. Somehow we have a built-in talent that we can show to the world by expressing it through arts. So without further ado, join me. Okay, we will tackle uh, each and every art forms, art mediums. Okay, so hope you're excited. Okay, because I'm so excited. I want to know more about arts actually. Okay, like uh, you know. I am a fan of, of doing uh, paintings like canvas painting, uh, watercolor, with the use of watercolor, with the use of acrylic, okay, with the use of multimedia uh, mediums of doing paintings. But somehow in the, some field of arts like sculpture, uh, interior design, I'm not into it but I want to learn more about it. Okay. So guys, hope you're excited. Okay. Join me okay, and let's explore arts. Painting. Painting is the practice of applying paint pigment, color, or other medium to a solid surface. The medium is commonly applied to the base with a brush, but other implements such as knives, sponge, and airbrushes can be used. In art, the term painting describes both the act and the result of the actions. Type of painting styles. There is a huge range of different styles that are incorporated into art, with some having subtle differences between them to bold, striking changes that are easy to spot. These are some of the most popular types of painting art, styles that you see in the modern day. 1. Photorealism You may also see photorealism referred to as hyperrealism or superrealism. This painting style aims to create a painting that is indistinguishable from real life or a photograph, hence the name. This makes it distinct from realism as unless you take a much closer look at a photorealism painting, you will not be able to see that it is indeed a painting. 2. Expressionism on the other hand of the spectrum is Expressionism. Expressionism is a style of art that doesn't concern itself with realism. Images and scenes are often distorted or fainted with underworldly, vivid colors that don't match up with reality. The focus is instead on the artist's ideas or feelings which are expressed through the medium of art. 3. Abstract Abstract paintings as to realism altogether. Whatever the subject in the painting, it may not be accurately represented at all in the artwork. Objects may be represented by a color or a shape instead, with the interpretations left up to the viewer. The impact of abstract painting cannot be understated, with many using shocking display of colors and form to dizzy the senses. Number 4. Sure Realism Sure Realism first became a movement in the 20th century with the artists such as Salvador becoming household names combining abstract concepts with semi-realistic objects has been twisted or moved into something unusual. They can be illogical or dream giving the viewer a heightened sense of reality. Number 5. Pop Art in the 1950s and onwards, pop came a movement that drew inspirations from the commodifications and commercialism of modern life. Using cartoons or adverts in many of the style's most famous works, pop art uses realistic imaginary combined with bold colors to highlight the artist's intent. Types of Painting mediums. 
True, there are many styles of painting art. There are also many different mediums through which artists express themselves, depending on the technique and effect required. Different mediums can be used to heighten the artist's visions. Here are some of the most popular types of painting mediums you find it in the modern day. Oil Oil paintings are one of the oldest form of painting and remain one of the most popular painting medium types to this day. When painting in oil, it's easy to blend colors but can be difficult to erase. Mistakes meaning it can be difficult medium to master. Some of the world's most famous paintings were painted in oils, with portraits being a particular specialty of many artists who work in this medium. Watercolor Watercolor paints tend to be inexpensive to purchase but similar to oil paints, difficult to master. Paints are diluted with water meaning they can go a long way from a single tube. But once the paint are on the canvas, there are little that can be done to correct mistakes. Watercolor paintings work beautifully with light and are often used to paint landscapes. Acrylic Only dating back to 1940s, acrylic is relatively new painting medium. It dries quickly, is versatile, and can be very durable. If you make a mistake using acrylic paint, you can even scrape them off. If you act quickly, many pop artists use acrylic in their works, with the famous Campbell Soup can a particular sample of a good acrylic art. Quatch. Gouache is a form of watercolor which has been modified to be opaque, which differentiates it from more traditional watercolor paints. As a painting medium, it dried quickly and dries to a slightly different colors than when it was wet. Many commercial artists work in Gouache, as it is vibrant and can black out colors quickly. Pastel Pastels differ from many of the other types of painting art mediums in some key ways. Most pastel come in the form of a stick or powdered pigment which is the press onto the canvas to apply the color with several different varieties available. When using pastels, you get strong colors that are close to the natural pigmentations inside the pastel and with few barriers to creating art. It's possible to get a canvas and some pastels and get creating quickly. Encaustic Encaustic painting is an ancient method of infusing color into a surface, usually wood canvas or even tile. Pigments are added to a wax, which is then heated and added to the surface, giving a luminous color with strong dimensional qualities. Presco Frescoes are traditionally a quite large-scale painting medium, as they are usually applied over a layer of freshly laid lime plaster. This method allows the paint and pigment to bond with the plater, making the image integral to the surface. Many famous frescoes have been painted throughout history, including the creation of Adam and the Last Supper. Spray paint Spray paints are aerosol paint is a modern form of painting and has become associated with street art or graffiti. The paint is held in a sealed can and released it in an aerosol spray, allowing smooth, even coats to be applied to a surface. This makes it ideal when speed is of the ascendance or allows large areas to be painted in one setting. Digital Lastly, the modern age has brought us a new medium of painting in digital format. Using digital painting tools which include virtual brushes of different sizes and textures as well as a range of colors that will be difficult to procure in reality. Digital artists are able to create paintings that can push the boundaries of their imaginations. Digital painting has swiftly become a painting medium all by itself as digital artists contribute with this new medium. 
So guys, that's our first episode. So we talk about more on painting. So now you learn the new generation, they use digital art, the new technology with the use of computers. So somehow, but somehow some artists really work on using traditional way of paintings like using uh, the medium of oil, the medium of acrylic paints, okay, or even combining two medium, which is which we call it as um, uh, mixed media painting, okay, or mixed media canvas painting. So they use one medium to another and mixing it to form a particular uh, creative design, new design, or new expressionism uh, work of art. By the use of art, you can express yourself. See, so. That's why uh, art's really uh, a medium of communications, especially uh, doing paintings, okay? So that's it guys, hope you learn a lot, okay? next episode bye guys thank you so much sorry as dj everyone yeah.